A day ago, there was barely a beach chair to be had. Now, there's barely a tourist to be seen in the Tunisian resort town of Sousse. Lives and summer vacations were shattered by a gunman disguised as a tourist at the Imperial Marhaba Hotel. The man pulled an AK-47 from his umbrella and massacred beachgoers until he was killed by police. Katarina from Germany says she was lying at the beach when she heard what sounded like fireworks, and then hotel staff told everyone to run. Told us, go, go inside, go into the bar, go to your rooms. And it was, it was like in a war, really. In a statement on social media, Islamic State claimed responsibility. Today, staff are cleaning bloody towels from the beach while thousands of tourists flock to the airport. Others are still being treated in Tunisian hospitals. Most of the victims were from the UK, Germany and Belgium. So far, at least five victims have been identified as British. Officials say that number will climb. British tour operators have sent planes to Tunisia to evacuate their customers, as many as 2,500. British Prime Minister David Cameron vowed to do everything possible to help the victims, who he said were innocent holiday makers. These terrorists murdered them because the terrorists oppose people and countries who stand for peace, tolerance and democracy wherever they are in the world. Tunisian Prime Minister Habib Essid said in response, the government will shut some 80 mosques that aren't under state control and are accused of inciting violence. Islamic State has been urging its followers to step up assaults during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan.